everyone, Daniel here, and welcome back to another episode of The Aftershot, the show where we break down this week's episode. This week, I am joined by the amazing Liz. Where are my background singers? Where they at? Where they at? Hi everyone, welcome back, and I am joined by the amazing Miss Liz Perez. Liz, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, but actually I'm having you because we're in my apartment. (laughs) Well, real quick, fun fact, we're also on behind the set scenes of uh, Fortnite, directed and written by Corey, which is coming out next year. I will put the link right over here, but that's why we're in this nice, amazing setting, but this also is nice. Link is by my (laughs) probably chest area. (laughs) Um, But... All right, well, let's talk about episode three. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, ep three, I, it was, it's really fun to watch because it's how we became friends, yeah, like how we became story. homies, how we met. Um, it's super cute, too. Just, like, the little moments that we have when we sort of establish, yeah. like, these little quirks in our friendship, yeah. like, in that one scene. So, it's really good. Yeah. Fun. I don't know if y'all have ever, like, eaten lunch like by yourself in like the bath that's sort of the equivalent of what this was that was like jasmine energy she couldn't sit with anyone yeah like no one she no one let them sit sit, let her sit with them i can't speak but um but i think when we like caught each other's eyes like we instantly knew it was like love at first sight um and it was yeah and it was really great just to see that connection out of nowhere it was like the island of misfit toys Kind of. I mean, game recognizes game too, yeah. so then. Yeah. Then we flash forward to present day. Guillermo is now in another job, still trying to figure out what's going he on. He still doesn't know what the fuck is going on. True life, who knows? Uh, but it's a similar situation. Well, a couple years later, it's still happening the same. You know, he's trying to just get along, meet people, meet friends. He brings up a good point where it's like, you know, once you're an adult, you can't really just meet friends. You don't just like, hey, how's it going? That does not happen. It becomes a little more difficult. It does. I feel like they're. I don't want to say there are fewer opportunities to do that, but it's not as convenient as when you're like going to school or you have all these events that are kind of catered to yeah, that. Yeah, just like you that. have to be more active with seeking people yeah. out. So, that, so then we see uh, Guillermo go and hang out with his friend, his bestie out there. Another moment I wanted to highlight is like, you know, and I don't know if you all have experienced this too, but when you're queer, it's a space where you can't really talk to your parents about it. You can't really talk to um, coworkers or friends that are straight, just because like they just they don't get it, so they don't understand yeah. it. So you know when you find you know your group or or, tribe, or it's like you're not necessarily comfortable with yeah. it yourself. So it's in a way, yes, people may not understand, but sometimes I think, at least in my own personal situation, sometimes I would project that people like wouldn't get it, so I would push people away or it's kind of yeah I, I see it's both sides yeah um, and this episode was just like that moment where you can just kind of see a day in the life of their friendship and why those small moments mean a lot because they're the only ones that can share it and no one else can understand that which was something that I I found very very true to my heart um but yeah, so that was this episode. Um, first thing, I want to thank you so much. You like brought to life this character that means so much to my heart, and that anchored so much yeah. of who I am today. So she's so much fun, <laughs> and she's I think she's just a super relatable character. Like I saw, I don't know if you were gonna ask me this or not, but I saw a lot of myself in elements of Jasmine's journey, like coming into her queerness and like in this relationship like is it a relationship is it not like I'm trying to figure that out um also with like school and job like just the life stuff outside of it that doesn't necessarily have to be attached to queerness that's just like being a human being so going through those things you know at that age like early 20s and just you're really coming into your own like as an adult you're trying to adult and maybe not being that great at it but what do you think Jasmine's priorities are right now? At this point, at this episode, I think that she's really trying to understand what. I think she's trying to understand why this relationship with Sheila is happening, um, where it's really trying to go. It's kind of hard because it's just it's establishing like the characters really at this point and what they're going through. But 
Yeah, I think she's trying to figure yeah. it out. Um, are you a jazz and a Guillermo in someone's life? Are you one of them? Are you both? Is it different? Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of like more of the wild and crazy yeah, one yeah. now because I'm married. So like my wife is the one who's like, you need to calm down. <laughs> like this is what we're doing. Like let's stay grounded. And I'm just like, Woo, I'm going to float and I'm going to be all over the place. And it's kind of wild. But I guess in that sense, I don't like to say that Guillermo's like wild. I just think he's trying to figure it out. Yeah. Um, so I, I feel a little bit of, of Guillermo in that mm -hmm. sense. Um, but with Jasmine, I mean, I guess I have my grounded moments here and there. Like what day is it? I don't know. It's what Sunday. I feel pretty grounded today. <laughs> Um, but, uh, and lastly, well, besides from the series, you are someone who's very talented and has been doing multiple projects oh, here in this city of angels. <laughs> one, what's one tip you would tell to just actors mm -hmm. who are just trying to get into the hustle? Yeah. And two, what has been your experience with like alternative forms of media? Um. So the first question, I mean, I guess the the best tip is if you're just trying to get started, like, get started. Do what you can, what you can afford, without hopefully putting yourself out on the street or in an unsafe position. Um, for me, like in my own experience, I didn't know anybody in the industry and I was like, okay, well, how do I do it? Like, I'm just gonna Google and like see where I start. So I think that's just it. It's like making, and it's a brave choice to do that. Like making that brave choice to call yourself an actor or an artist or whatever you want to call yourself. Like that's what you are and that's what you're doing. So do that and get started and ask a bunch of questions. Well, I'm currently trying to write my own stuff and, you know, stories that I care about. And thankfully, like, with in these past couple years, I've worked with amazing people, amazingly talented folks, and I've learned a lot from them and hopefully, like, you know, to bring them on other projects. But I, there are just so many opportunities out there um, in terms of, like, streaming and web series and like TikTok, like all these different things that I'm, I'm not on yet, but I'm just like <laughs> learning about them. But I think, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, some of those, like those parts aren't gonna come necessarily unless like you create them, you create them, we create them. Um, so just do it. I'm trying to tell myself that too. Like I need to practice what I preach because I'm, <laughs> I'm trying and it's hard. Like the writing process is hard. The pre-production, post-production, production in general is like, as I've seen, it's a lot. And but you can do it. We can do it. <laughs> well, Jasmine, Miss Liz, thank you so much for being on this episode. Thanks for having I cannot me. I wasn't even drinking my beer. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining us. Join us back next week for another episode of Functional, another episode of Functional The Aftershot. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ooh, this Christmas. Oh my God. We're my background singer. We're my background singer. Give me the card again. Give me the card again.